Hey there everyone, this is Adam from DiceGum making just a little video to tide you over. Apologies for not having a video out this weekend. We were just really busy. Uh, so with that in mind, let's get into it. Now let me tell you the story of El Phantasmo. Now, I DM'd a particular Vampire the Masquerade campaign. Honestly, it was the first campaign I ever ran, but despite that, I think I did fairly well. I'll admit that there were some notable intergroup drama problems, and, well, I made some very stupid decisions as a newbie GM, but the players, for the most part, seem to like it. Sometimes. But that's not for here or now. What's here now is how a chump gangster managed to level up and become a childer for one of our players in a single session. So I rather stupidly liked to stat out my humans, mainly because I felt it merited it for encounters, and gangsters were included. Now, these gangsters were not as well off as vampire kins. They were statted more like ghouls. I did make sure they had less skill points, and I also made them a little more fragile than ghouls. So, usually this wasn't too much of an issue, since vamps were tough, and they could soak bullets as bruising damage. So it really wasn't much of a problem, especially since I wasn't really the type to be a min-maxing bastard. Then came El Phantasmo. My group, composed of a Bruja brawler bitch, a Venture bodyguard, a Toreador who was basically mid-level management to the Anarchs, and an ex-Shovelhead Zemichi cult leader were going after this group of gangsters because they had ties to the Sabbat. Again, this is kind of the first campaign that I ever ran, so yeah, I let in uh, I let in the next Shovelhead Samichi. It was an anything's ghost kind of game, but again, this was my first campaign. Let's get back to this. This gang, which I named Los Carneles after the Saints Row gang, were supplying arms to them, which combined with the reforms of by the new bishop to actually make them Sabbat rather than hooting gangsters, meant that Things were going to get bad in San Francisco. They were meeting in a church for a meeting of the lieutenants, meaning that now was a good time to screw up that gang's organization. Things went fairly well as the Toreador and Zemichi used their base charisma to bluff away and then geek the Watchmen out of sight of the others. Honestly, things were going fairly well for a while. So the group actually had a pair of people who could and would use auspex to spot and then shoot them. Until they ran into El Phantasmo. He was just a normal gangster. Nothing special about him, really. But for some reason, the Auspex users somehow kept botching their fucking role when he was involved. And since that was the case, I reasoned that they didn't see him. True, they probably should have, but... Again, this was my first ever campaign. I was dumb enough to give these guys stats above 2 and a few good characteristics. So they just kept missing this fucking guy. It kept happening, so I then decided to give this guy a few ranks in stealth to represent that. And then this came into play after he spotted them. He managed to generate the alarm, thus causing their little stealth mission to completely go ploin-shaped. Now, the party does very well in cleaning out the thugs, but again, El Phantasmo managed to keep out of their sight and actually managed to get one last screw you out of it. You see, since he had stealth ranks now, something that I made sure to note since the whole reveal of him thing, he had the ability to sneak about without them really noticing, being too busy to take on the gangsters. Now, this culminates in the our Toreador friend taking a nasty bullet to the chest by this dude before he gets ganged by the cultist. The manager then decides that this guy is super worth nabbing because he managed to sneak up on him. Or actually, it was her. That, and in spite of her lust of power, she still had some touch with her humanity and didn't really want a person who proved this troublesome to die. So she chooses to embrace him and gains a new magician bodyguard. At least until the player decided to complain about his character again. Which is another story for another time. Hope you enjoyed this little short story. I'm sorry it wasn't as long as some of the other ones that I have, but uh, 
Again, like I said, I'm not exactly feeling too good, and I was just barely able to get this out. I hope you have a good day, everyone.